Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna do a small update on my guide on the best settings for your PS5, your, for your image and also performance. Uh, Sony just released a new update and now the console is compatible with VRR, the variable refresh rate. Uh, you can compare this uh, with technology on PC like G-Sync and FreeSync. It will help you a lot with screen tearing when you're playing your games. So this is pretty much how you can activate it so we're gonna go to setting first go to screen and videos after that video i'll put the first one is resolution i recommend to go with automatic or you can even select a dedicated uh resolution if you want i know a lot of people is asking me uh i can't play 4k 120 hertz why you really need a TV that is compatible with HDMI 2.1. If you still want to play your 120 Hz and you don't have that, you can play at 1080p uh, 120 Hz. So just force it uh, your 1080p over there, and you will uh, your TV will just change it. Or you can also play with a monitor on a PC. Another thing that I recommend is your 4K video transfer rate. Make sure this one is at automatic. You don't want to use compression for them. Um, if you have an old like a capture card, like an HD 60S, HD 60S Plus, stuff like that, you will need to put at minus two uh, the video transfer rate because it will not work. If you have the, you have the new Elgato uh, HD X, HD 60X, sorry automatic will work so if you're trying to capture and stream and you don't know why it's not working go with minus two now the vr the new option on the console if it's not compatible you will you can't do anything with it you need like a tv like the lg c1 and stuff like that uh to to make sure that it's working um First of all, make sure that it's at automatic. When you put this at automatic, it will work. Also, I recommend to apply to unsupported game. I did a couple of tests and it, it looks better, honestly. So just activate it. If you're struggling with a, uh, with an unsupported game, I don't know, you have like some glitch, artifact and stuff like that. Just deactivate it in the setting. But for me right now, it's working very well. And also uh, probably Sony and the developer will start to patch their game because a lot of game is compatible on Xbox and they are not on the PS5. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna update it. For HDR, I recommend something like always on or on when supported. Just make sure that it's activated. If you want a HDR on those consoles, it's beautiful. It feels next gen. Uh, super important also to activate your deep color output on your console and also on your HDMI. So on my LG C7, I didn't understand why I didn't have like any HDR and it was because on my HDMI 4, the deep color was not activated. So look at this, make sure that your HDR is activated on your TV also. Also recommend to do your calibration, adjust HDR, super important. It will help with your image, visual and stuff like that. So do that and just follow the step from Sony. RGB range, just go with automatic. And the last one is enable 100 Hertz output. Make sure this one is also at automatic and everything will work great for your screen and video. Another thing that I can recommend, it's for your sound. It's really cool. It's in the audio output. Go to enable 3D audio for TV speaker. Just activate it. It's really good, honestly. Uh, it's working even if you, you don't have a system that it's compatible with it. You can compare this at the uh, Dolby Atmos on the Xbox Series X. It's pretty much the same thing, but not the same technology. But it will work if you don't even have like speaker compatible with Dolby Atmos. So I really recommend just to do some tests. Uh, I did a test on like Returnal. The sound was amazing. So if you don't like that, you can just like deactivate it. But I recommend to just look at it and do a test. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my uh, PS5 update guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Uh, I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.